How's it and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris and if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button now so that you don't miss any more content coming at you from Southern Africa. Today we are in another incredible game reserve here in South Africa called the Mountain Zebra National Park and right now we are actually standing inside the park. We do need to be careful that a lion or a cheetah or some kind of predator doesn't come out the bush and try and eat us while I do this shot. There are two species of zebra found in Southern Africa and this national park is named after the more rare species called the Mountain Zebra. There are two easy ways to spot the difference between this species and the more common species, the Birchall's zebra. The first way is that the mountain zebra stripes don't go and meet all the way underneath the belly. They sort of stop halfway down the belly. And the other feature that the mountain zebra have that the Birchall zebra don't have is that there is some orange that you can see running down their snout. So we're on our first game drive here at the Mountain Zebra National Park, still in the Eastern Cape. This park also has a very large variety of African animals as well, such as bat-eared foxes, brown hyenas, cheetah, artfark, anteaters, porcupine. Uh, so this place is really, really crawling with life and, and just like all the national parks that we visit, we really, really want to see as many animals as we can. We've taken the Roiplat route or loop and this loop just takes you up the mountain. This is one of the amazing things about the Mountain Zebra National Park is that a lot of the game is up on the savannah flats which are really really high up here in the mountains in this section of the Karoo. In fact when we were here just a couple of months ago we went on a guided game drive with sand parks out here and Andrew our guide took us up to the savannah flats to go and look at cheetah where we then proceeded to get out of the vehicle and walk within a couple of meters of them. So when we come to national parks, we like to try and find the animals that operate both during the day and during the night. And our plan here for the Mountain Zebra National Park is to go on our own self-guided game drive, which we're on now. And our goal to try and see some of the nocturnal creatures is to go on a guided game drive run by sand parks here at Mountain Zebra National. Thank you. 
was an incredible game drive. We managed to see an art wolf, which is part of the hyena species and one of the only hyenas that doesn't really eat meat and is more of an insect eating hyena. I'm currently standing here on the cliffs on the Black Eagle Trail, one of two hiking trails that you can do here within the rest camp at the Mountain Zebra National Park. And the Black Eagle Trail is the longer of the trails and it's wonderful because it allows you to walk over incredible rock and cliff formations and the hike culminates into lookout points that allow you to look over the incredible vistas that can be found here in the Mountain Zebra National Park that is located in the Karoo in Southern Africa. Yes, it's wonderful to see lions and cheetah, both of which they have here. But for me, what makes the Mountain Zebra National Park special are all the small, rare creatures that you can see. It's raining here at the Mountain Zebra National Park. We're at the swimming pool, which is so beautiful, nestled up next to the mountain, yeah? And we promised ourselves that we can't leave here without having a swim, so even though it's raining, we're doing it. Oh, that's cold! Oh. Is it cold? Did it. <laughs> and it's cold.